Hello, my friends. I hope you all are doing so well. I miss you all, and I miss getting to be with you in person. But I'm so glad that we can talk to each other in this way. So, if you remember from last week, we ended with Joshua leading the people, leading the Israelites into the Promised Land. We saw the fall of Jericho and how Rahab joined the Israelites and how she was saved. And so now, the people, the Israelites have lived in the Promised Land, but not everything is great. They're there, but they have these neighbors, and these neighbors don't like them very much, and they don't like the they don't like the God that the Israelites worship. And one in particular, the Canaanites are extremely, uh, ex- really don't like them, and they are, and they're fighting them, and they keep attacking them, and the Israelites don't know what to do. So this is where our story begins. Get comfortable, and let's go on. The Israelites lived in the promised land for many, many years. But they forgot about God. A bad king from another land came and he ruled over them. The Israelites asked God for help. God sent them a judge named Deborah. She loved God very, very much. God gave her a plan to defeat the bad king. She sent for a man named Barak. And she told him, God wants you to take 10,000 soldiers and wait on the hill. The Israelites, though, were not as strong as their enemies. The Canaanites were very strong. Barak begged Deborah to go with them. She was a strong leader, and she agreed. When the Israelites met face to face with the king's army, Deborah exclaimed, Go! Attack them now! God is with us. The Israelites obeyed and they won the battle. And this, my friend, friends, is where our story ends today. The Israelites have defeated the Canaanites and God has sent Deborah to help them. Thank you. <laughs> In the stories we've been learning about, we've met three leaders that have made huge impacts on the people of Israel. We met Moses, right? We met Joshua, and now we've met Deborah. Deborah was a judge and a leader among the Israelites, and she guided them with the guidance she received from God. So guidance itself is our next is our discipline of this week, and it's listening to the counsel of God and those who love us. Our Bibles tell us that Deborah listened closely to God, and then from what God told her, she could give guidance to the people. We also need guidance. Our parents give us guidance by helping us to know what is right and what is wrong. They can also help to remind us that God is good and remind us of all of the ways he has shown his goodness. They remind us that God loves us too. So think. I want you to think about who else shows you guidance. To your teachers, your older siblings, who around you gives you good counsel, good guidance, who around you points to what is right and points to all of the ways that God loves you. And you too can give good guidance. So as we learned in the story today, Deborah, she listened closely to God so that she could then direct her people. You too can listen closely to God and the people that he has given you to guide you so that you can lead the, runs, the others around you and to knowing how great God's love is and what what is a good way to live. So this week, I want you to think about, first, who around you gives you good guidance? And number two, how can you guide others well? And how can you guide them with love and with compassion? Because usually, usually the people that are good guiders have a lot of compassion in the way that they talk to us. They're not always just like, you need to do this or you need to do that. They tell you, they show you, they show you what God's love looks like in a person form. And so I want you to think about how can you do this? How can you give direction 
in a way that shows God's love, compassion, and care to others. All right, my friends, I hope you have an excellent week, and I look forward to next week being back with you again via video. Bye.